Good afternoon. How's everyone doing? It's Saturday at 2 p.m. and time for me to go live. Today, I'd like to talk with you about 101 awesome ways to use vinegar around your home. Now, we all know the old saying, honey catches more flies than vinegar. Well, this is a great way to live your life. Maintaining a positive attitude don't take it too literally. After all, vinegar is easily one of the best products for your health and your home. Cleaning product, products and indoor air quality. Before we dive into the many uses of vinegar, I just wanted to focus on a couple of interesting studies. Being human beings, we're prone to only think about what we can see. Take our skin, for example. There are currently millions of bacteria living on the surface of your body. But we don't think about them because we can't see them. The same is true for all the garbage within our air. Toxic chemicals are often sprayed inside our homes, and if you think they just disappear, you're in for an unfortunate shock. Within one Canadian-based study conducted by environmental defense researchers tested the air quality after particles or after participants used cleaning products for 30 minutes. Participants used a range of product products mimicking the average cleaning experience. After all, most people do not stick to one brand. Researchers found that all products led to higher concentrations of voliate organic compounds. In one Montreal apartment, the air transformed after using conventional cleaning products for half an hour. First, the air contained 1,200 micrograms of VOCs per cubic meter. But after cleaning, researchers detected 2,000 micrograms of VOCs. Since we spend so much time indoors, this is a major concern. Based on another study published in Environmental Health, prospective researchers stated that scented consumer goods emit more than 100 different VOCs. These include all-purpose cleaners, detergents, air fresheners, and other common products. Some are classified as both hazardous and toxic by the federal government. What's important about this study is that even products that we label green, natural, or organic emit these harmful compounds. Of the 25 products tested, 44% produced at least one of the 24 carcinogenic air pollutants, such as formaldehyde. Within both studies, the researchers recommended a more natural solution comprised of baking soda and vinegar. As stated by David Suski, a Canadian academic and environmental activist, A-C-E-T-I-C, acetic acid or white vinegar is a great disinfectant within the home. It can, it can cut through grease and even deodorize without the need for tax, toxic additives. This all natural solution can even combat harmful bacteria such as E. coli or salmonella. The high acidity in vinegar can pass through the cell membranes of bacteria, essentially causing the cells to die. Although the standard vinegar bottles contain about 5% actic acid, health stores will often offer options as high as 
boosting its cleaning strength. Next page. So, are you ready to benefit from a bit of vinegar and elbow grease? Here's how you can use it in your home. Essence and longevity of flowers. No need for synthetic plant food. Just to leave, dilute a bit of sugar and vinegar in water. You want to add about one teaspoon of vinegar to a pint of water. The sugar will nourish the flowers while the vinegar fights off bacteria. Improve your soil. There are plenty of areas throughout North America where the water is extremely hard. This leads to water that has a high pH or water that is more alkaline affecting the soil. Test your soil and if it's too alkal alkaline, add a touch of vinegar. This is especially beneficial for plants such as gardenias, azaleas, as a weed killer. Use a spray bottle with vinegar on your walkways. Get rid of skunk odor. If your cat or dog has been sprayed, wash them with vinegar and then thoroughly rinse. Now, I was always told tomato juice. Heck, you can use vinegar. There you go. Clean your mower blades. When your mower blades are full of grass stains, soak a cloth in white vinegar and carefully wipe each blade. Do this after each use before placing your lawnmower back into the garage or the shed. Repel ants. If ants are finding their way into your home, spray vinegar around the outside door frame or, and windows, and the same goes for fleas. Hmm. It'll keep fleas at your house. Clean patio furniture. Fight mildew on outdoor furniture with a vinegar solution. Give seeds a head start. Lightly rub seeds such as passion flower or gourds with sandpaper and then soak in a solution of water and apple cider vinegar. Stop yellowing of leaves. If your hydrangeas and azaleas start to yellow, then you may need to adjust the pH. Once a week, apply this solution. One quart of water, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, and repeat for three to four weeks. Deader pets and animals. Whether you have a dog or a raccoon, that keeps tracking through your vegetables, place vinegar soaked rags on stakes around the garden. Re-soak every 10 days or so to keep your pets out. I gotta try that because I'll tell you what, my dogs are always going in my flower bed and in my vegetable garden. I'm gonna try that one. Clean up bird droppings. Stubborn bird, dropping, bird droppings can be cleaned away more easily with full strength vinegar. Just spray, leave on for 30 minutes, and then wash it away. Eliminates pea stains. After bloating and flushing the area with warm water, apply a diluted solution of vinegar and water and rinse and allow it to dry. So there you go, that's how you clean up your, your, your pet's yard. <laughs> clean their eyes. Dab a cloth in two parts vinegar, one part water, then clean gently. If there are any lactations, do not use this method and seek assistance from your vet. Clean your fish tank. If you have yucky deposits that have formed in your fish bowl, you can clean it with vinegar. Just be sure to rinse properly and Achieve an optimal pH before introducing new fish. Neutralize pet odors. If your carpet smells of pet odors, sprinkle baking soda over the area and let it rest overnight. Vacuum and then apply vinegar before rinsing. Interesting. Freshen your kitty litter box. Once you've emptied your kitty litter, pour the vinegar covered 
Pour the vinegar covering the entire surface. Allow to soak in for 30 minutes before rinsing well. Cats do not like the smell of vinegar. Deter chewing. Is your dog chewing on electric cords? Applying a small amount of apple cider vinegar on the external insulation only do so when the cord is unplugged. Clean your bird bath. If you enjoy your wild pets that fly in each morning, be sure to give their bath a thorough vinegar cleaning every once in a while. Condition your dog's hair. Dab with apple cider vinegar to remove soap residue and improve flaking skin. Not only will this condition the hair, but it also will repel pesky insects, including fleas and ticks. So there you go. That's a, that's a good one there for your pets. We don't like fleas and ticks, do we? No, we don't. Neither do our pets, but we don't like them. All right. Reduce frost by coating your car window. If you live somewhere that experiences harsh winters, apply a thin layer of vinegar on the window can prevent frost. Polish chrome. Quickly and easily remove deposits from chrome. Remove rust. If your tools or bolts are rusty, soak them overnight in vinegar. Clean concrete floors. If you have rust spots on the floor, clean with white vinegar and lemon. Revive paint brushes. If you have a bucket of brushes that are headed for the, the garbage, first soak them in vinegar. If the paint has really hardened, boil in one to two cups of vinegar before washing with hot and soapy water. So there you go. There's a way to save some money. You can save your paint brushes if you... You know, sometimes we forget to clean them out and then they get, they're all full of paint, they get hard. So there you go. You can refresh your paintbrushes. Release stubborn screws. If a screw or hinge is rusty, apply vinegar to a cloth, rub, and then retry. Clean up after mice. If you found mice poop in your garage, in your garbage, garage, be sure to disinfect with vinegar. It will also deter other mice from making this space their home. That's good to know. Scrub your car's carpet. The same rules apply in your car as they do in your home. Clean your car's upholstery. When the weather is nice, combine warm water, all natural detergent, a quarter of a cup of vinegar, spray problematic areas, and leave on for five to ten minutes. If they are stains, first gently apply baking soda and water paste, and then apply the vinegar solution. Eliminate odors. If your car is stinky, place a bowl of vinegar on the dash, close all the windows, and leave it there overnight to get rid of stinky smells in your car. Very good. Remove bumper stickers. After you have peeled away the sticker, apply a solution of olive oil and vinegar. Allow it to sit for five minutes and then clean away the adhesive. Clean wiper blades. If you're getting streaks on your window, it's time to clean the blades. After soaking a cloth in vinegar, wipe the blades down. Now, what can we do in our bathroom with vinegar? Wipe mildew. For heavy mildew, use Undiluted vinegar. Remove your low fash. For 24 hours, soak your low fash in equal parts vinegar and water. I don't know what low fash is, but okay. Disinfect fixtures. Kill germs by spraying fixtures with a solution that's one part water and one part vinegar. Unclog the shower head. Unscrew and remove the rubber washer and simmer in a pot that contains equal parts of vinegar and water. Clean the tub. If you have hard to remove stains, pour four cups of vinegar into your tub, fill with warm water, allow the full tub to rest for three to four hours 
before draining and re-cleaning. Make your shower door shine. To remove water spots, wipe down with a combination of baking soda, vinegar, and warm water. See, all natural products, folks. You just you don't need to buy the um, toxic, chemical-filled products from the store. I mean, you can make stuff your home at home with all natural products that will clean just as well, if not better, than the store-bought ones. And the ones you make at home are all non-toxic. They're not going to hurt you. They're not going to hurt your family. They're not going to cause disease or cancer or anything. Okay. Wash out your toothbrush cup. Treat cups and toothbrush holders with vinegar to eliminate any buildup of scum. Fill with equal parts water and vinegar and then leave overnight. Disinfect the toilet. Pour one cup of vinegar into your toilet bowl and allow it to sit overnight. Clean shower door tracks. Pour full strength vinegar into the track and allow it to sit for three hours and then flush. You can also get in there with a toothbrush. So now let's go to the laundry room. Brighten fabric. Avoid chemical products and brighten colors with vinegar. Add a half a cup to your machine's rinse cycle. Repel lint. When vinegar is used during the laundry cycle, it can prevent lint from sticking to clothing. Whiten dingy socks. Combine hot water and vinegar in a bucket and soak your socks overnight. Wash the following day as you normally would. Unclog hoses. Once a month, pour one to two cups of vinegar into your washing machine and then run the cycle without any clothes. This can help unclog hoses and reduce soap scum. Good to know. Ensure colors don't run. If you want to prevent colors from running, soak your clothes in vinegar solution before washing. Remove stains. You have, if you have deodorant stains on your clothes, wipe with vinegar before washing. Remove even those stubborn stains. The same goes for the fruit or coffee stains. Remove odors. If you are around someone smoking, remove the odors with vinegar. Improve cotton and wool quality. If you want your blankets to be fluffier, add one cup of vinegar to your rinse cycle. Eliminate grease. If you're not, if you've got grease on a material such as suede, dab with vinegar before washing as directed. Expand longevity of nylon. Add vinegar to your washing machine to increase the longevity of your nylon pantyhose. Unclog your steam iron. Pour one on one solution of vinegar and water into your iron's water chamber. Turn on, allow to sit with the up, upward resting position for 10 minutes. Before turning off to cool, change the water to eliminate loosened part of particles and deposits. We're up to number 53 out of 110. We're halfway there, folks. There's a lot of stuff you can do with vinegar, isn't there? Clean office supplies. From your printer to your fax machine, these items tend to get dusty. Spray bottles can damage the equipment. So make a dilution vinegar solution and dampen a cloth to wipe. Clean your key bit board. Get into tight spaces such as those between your keys. Dip a Q-tip into your vinegar solution. Eraser pen. Did, did your charming young child write on your desk or wall? Vinegar will help to remove these marks. Unstick your scissors. When scissor blades become sticky or rusty, a vinegar soaked cloth will do the trick. Brighten up your space. Are your office windows dirty? Dirtier than you'd like? Take a tea. Take a lint-free cloth and wipe with lemon and vinegar solution. 
in your living room. Wipe your blinds. Once the sunlight hits your blinds, you are blinded by dust. Create a diluted vinegar solution, put on a cotton glove, and go to work. As you slide your fingers across, you'll collect all the unwanted dust and debris. Eliminate water rings. If there are ring marks on wood furniture, combine olive oil and vinegar and then apply with a soft cloth. Clean piano keyboards. Make those keys sparkle by applying a bit of vinegar. Remove carpet stains. Combine salt and vinegar, apply to your carpet, let the solution dry, and lastly, vacuum the area. Bring rugs back to life. Dilute vinegar with water, then clean rugs with a plush broom dipped in, vin in your vinegar solution. Brighten any brickwork. Have brick fireplace, combine one cup of vinegar, one small bucket of water, and wipe the brick to brighten. Revamp wood paneling. paneling. Combine water, one pint, vinegar, three to four tablespoons, and olive oil, two tablespoons, then apply with a clean cloth. After it soaks in, polish with a dry cloth. Hide scratches on wood flooring. Whether your table or floor is scratched, combine vinegar and iodine and then paint over the area with a small paintbrush. The shade will determine the increments use more iodine for darker woods. Restore leather furniture. Combine vinegar and linseed oil, then spread on with a clean cloth. After two to three minutes, wipe with a dry cloth. Clean up candle wax. First, blow dry the area, then wipe away with paper towels before cleaning the aftermath with diluted vinegar. Now we're on to the kitchen, folks. What are we going to do in the kitchen? Let's have a look. Unclog drains. Flush with hot water, then funnel a half a cup of baking soda followed by one cup of vinegar. Deodorize the sink. Use the same approach for unplugging your drain to also deodorize. Clean stainless steel. Spritz with vinegar and buff with a cloth. Eliminate burnt or smoke odors. odors. Like your car, place a bowl of vinegar in your kitchen, and this will eliminate the smells of cigarettes and burnt food. food. Refreshen your fridge. Clean the interior of your fridge with the delusion with diluted vinegar and then wipe with full strength vinegar to prevent the growth of mold. Clean the microwave. Place a bowl with vinegar and water in the microwave and then heat. Once cooled down, wipe down the interior with the cloth. Now that's that's a good one there. Because you know how in your microwave, you know, all that stuff gets up on the top and then it's hard to get up under there and clean it all off. So this will help you out. Freshen up lunch boxes. Place a vinegar soap sponge into your child's lunch box and leave it there overnight before rinsing. Polish silver, brass, and copper. Make a paste using vinegar and baking soda to clean silverware or items made of brass and copper. Disinfect cutting boards. Sprinkle baking soda on the cutting board surface and then spray with undiluted vinegar. After 10 minutes, wipe with a damp, clean cloth. Clean ice cube trays. Pour vinegar into the tray and allow it to sit for three hours before rinsing. Freshen veggies. Soak wilted vegetables in three cups of water with a tablespoon of vinegar. Interesting. Clean the coffee maker. Run a solution that is two parts vinegar, one part water through your coffee maker. This is recommended after every 50 cycles or so. Clean the tap. Have hard water stains on your tap? Soak a cloth in vinegar and drape over the faucet. 
debug vegetables. Before consuming fresh vegetables, soak in a bowl of water, vinegar, and salt. The bugs will float to the top. Clean oven grease. Wipe with a cloth that has been moistened with vinegar and water. Clean your dishwasher. Run one to two cups of vinegar through your dishwasher once a month. Mm, I'm going to try that one. Make your glassware sparkle. When drinking glasses have hard water spots, soak them in equal parts of vinegar and water for 30 minutes. Clean with a bottle brush and then rinse clean. Descale your kettle. Boil four cups of vinegar, then allow it to sit overnight. Drain, rinse thoroughly the following day. Scrub pots and pans. Combine equal parts of flour and salt and then just enough vinegar to make a paste and scrub and rinse. Sanitize glass jars. Whenever you can, reuse jars and containers. If you don't like the fact that, the, that there was food in the jars previously, fill with equal parts of vinegar and hot water. Allow it to sit for 20 minutes before giving it a thorough cleaning and rinse. Eliminate bugs from your pantry. Place a small bowl of vinegar in your pantry and then add a couple drops of peppermint essential oil. This will attract bugs. After a week, discard this solution and clean all the shelves thoroughly with diluted vinegar. Clean a rusty can opener. Vinegar will help cut through the rust. And then all you got to do is wipe it clean. Peeling off wallpaper. Spray stubborn wallpaper with equal parts water and vinegar and then scrape. The eliminate paste. Make a slightly stronger solution to remove both new and old wallpaper paste. Slow the hardening of plaster. When mixing plaster, add a couple of splashes of white vinegar to give you extra time. Get concre concrete off your skin. If you're fixing up your home and get concrete on your skin, use undiluted vinegar to wash away dry concrete followed by warm soapy water. Spritz around your pool. If you want to keep flies and insects out of your pool, spray the parameter with vinegar. Remove calcium. Anywhere you have calcium deposits, Vinegar will do the trick. The same is true with lime. Reduce soap bubbles. Have a steam cleaner? Use some vinegar within the cleaner to reduce bubbling and enhance cleaning strength. Soak wicks. If you burn propane lanterns, soak wick for several hours and then allow it to dry. This will help them to burn brighter and longer. Reduce dust on plastic. If you have a large area of plastic, wipe it down with vinegar. This will make it anti-static and reduce the accumulation of dust. Loosen glue. If there's old, hard glue on the joints of tables or chairs, apply vinegar. Clean your glasses. Use a drop of vinegar to naturally clean your glasses. And the last one, here's number 101. Restore bags and shoes. If your leather, leather items are scuffed, wipe them with vinegar. So they're highly like that was 101 uses of apple cider vinegar for your home. I hope you enjoyed this bit of information. I hope you found it informative and helpful. And hey, if you have any questions about it, just hit me up. Let me know. Now, while I'm here... I'd love to invite you to join my group on Facebook, which is called Essential Oils and You. You will find me out here every Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, giving you some sort of a, a to-do thing, like maybe I might show you how to make a cleaning product or um, uh, a bath and body product, or I might just come on and give you information like I did today about a product that you can use around the home that is natural that you can replace those toxic uh, cleaning and, and 
products and stuff like that with to make your home toxic free and live a uh, healthier lifestyle. So I wanted to thank you for watching, for listening. Uh, please leave me a comment. I'd love to know what people think of the videos that I produce on Saturdays. And of course, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, come join my group. And if you would like to uh, know more about uh, purchasing essential oils, I do have a blog called Essential Oils and You. Um, I will place a link to it in the comments so that um, if you guys need any essential oils or you want to um, purchase other products from me, I make, honey, I make soap. I make beauty products. I'm, I'm starting my own cosmetic line. I put on my, I made my own eyeshadow that I have on today. What do you think? Totally non-toxic. Yes, it is. So, um, yeah, if you'd like to, um, I'll put a link to my blog. You can come check it out. Uh, there's not just stuff for sale on there. There's other things on there, but I'd love to have you check me out. So that's it for today, Saturday, March 19th, 2022. Have a blessed weekend. Love you all. And see you all next Saturday when I come on live again. Bye-bye.